Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, Microsoft has released another build, and we are actually on build 10130. It's a big number, and I feel like Microsoft is so close, actually not close, but they announced today that on July 29th, they're going to be making Windows 10 free. Uh, I posted something up at my site indicating that my Windows 8.1 Lenovo laptop uh, had a nice little icon at the bottom with a window sign. The window sign looked like this, like the start menu for Windows 10. I clicked on it and it was already uh, announcing Windows 10 and to reserve my spot for the 3 gig download. So that's pretty exciting. So uh, let's check out what's new on the new build. On the new build, now um, if you go into the settings options, so let me go to, we're gonna go to the settings and within settings, we are able to go into the personalizations and there's start and then you got a nice start behavior options um, by default you have use full screen start when in desktop is turned off uh, when I turn it on for some reason when I click on the start menu there it goes uh, for some reason it wasn't working for me so I had to push out a, a KB update but now it's working so this is what that option would do when you turn it on so I'm gonna press down the start menu turn it off and then this is what you would get by default. Uh, the next thing that I noticed was the icons. I think the icons within the Fire Explorer looks official. I love the way it looks. It looks it doesn't look like a child created these with crayons. I think they should keep these icon designs throughout the entire build. Don't change it Microsoft. They look perfect the way they are. Another thing that I noticed is jump bliss. Uh, so if you right click on this right here, you get the nice little jump list. I, I'm loving the way that the jump list kind of flows with the UI design. Like the theme that I have right now is black and it just flows. It's just, it's the icons and everything. It just works perfectly. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying the way that the jump lists are working on this particular build. Another thing that I noticed is on, uh, Microsoft edge, even though they're still calling it project spot hun, uh, eventually they will be changing it. If you go inside your favorite tab right here, they added a cool little option to uh, keep it uh, locked down. So I'm gonna show you right here. So you see right here, this was never, uh, I don't know, I never noticed this part right here in other builds, but it looks like the, if you just click on the pin, it just keeps it locked down. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that I noticed is with virtual desktop. So I'm gonna open up Fire Explorer right now. And by default, virtual desktop is created like this. You create a, another desktop and you open up, let's say, let's open up Project Spartan or Microsoft Edge. As you can see, there's, on, there's no indication of uh, basically telling me that there's another window open other than me going back into task view or doing the alt tab command. So they gave us the option to do a uh, global view or filter taskbar view. So if you go into, uh, let's go into settings and within settings, if you go into systems and multitasking, uh, they give you a virtual desktops option. So only the desktop that I'm using, but if you click on all desktop, as you can see, it, my little folder, my Fire Explorer shows up. So if I'm doing it one more time, so I'm gonna do this, it disappears. So if I do all desktops, that basically says that I have my Fire Explorer open, but when I click on it, it takes me directly to that desktop environment, which I kind of like that idea. This, I think this is a little bit better. Next thing I noticed is that Cortana's icon disappeared, uh, meaning they don't have the lollipop style anymore. They brought back the nice, beautiful circle. I do like this icon better than the lollipop or magnifying glass that they had. Uh, for us shortcut lovers, I'm especially a shortcut lover. I love to use shortcuts. They actually gave us the Windows C command that would, that would bring up Cortana for us. So I love that shortcut. So that's a good thing. The thing that I noticed on a new build is if let's go into our settings, all settings right here. And if we go to devices, printers and scanners, uh, you will notice a Microsoft print to PDF. Finally, Microsoft gave us a PDF printer uh, rather than using a third party like do PDF or Adobe Acrobat uh, PDF printer. So this is pretty cool. It makes sense because they do have the Microsoft Office apps allowing you to save as PDF. So another feature with the new build is if you are within the tablet mode and you have multiple apps on or turned on or you have applications running at the same time, 
when you get out of the tablet mode, uh, they kind of adjust themselves back into the original uh, Windows form. So that's pretty cool. So once I close tablet form, as you can see, all the windows pop up nicely and I could just easily close them up with no problem. On the last build on 10120, uh, I showed you guys that they had this new app called Network Beta. Uh, it looks like it's still not working. It's still giving us the sign of indicating that it's coming soon. Uh, how soon will it come? I don't know. Remember, the public preview of the free upgrades is going to be pushing out July 29th. So we only got about, uh, I would say, a month or so. Uh, another thing that I noticed is if we go inside the settings, all settings, and we go into accounts, and we go into sign-in options, the Windows Hello doesn't have a configuration button. There's no option for us to configure it at all. So that's kind of strange because on the last build, uh, I believe uh, there was an option for us to configure it. Uh, one of the things that I hate that I noticed is the fact that they removed the settings options from the start menu. Why Microsoft? Why did you remove it? I'm always constantly doing uh, the notification center and going to all settings. But the fact that on the last build it was here, it made it so easy for just to navigate to that. I don't know how many builds back they uh, they had this feature, but I think they brought it back. And now you're able to resize the start menu. So that's pretty cool. I think they, they brought it back. I kind of like it because now you're able to expand it the way that you want it, depending on how big your uh, monitor is or the resolution that you have on your monitor. You, you could fit more icons and towels and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to adjust it back to the original right here. And that's it, guys. Those are the only things that I noticed so far on the latest build, which is 10130. Uh, if you guys are testing out the newest build and you find any other features that I haven't mentioned on this video, leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next hands-on. Peace out.